How to create a radio frequency monitor effect in DaVinci Resolve 18. Inside your project's edit window, open up the effects panel. Under toolbox, select effects and go to add a fusion composition edit to your timeline. Right click on this new edit and go to open in fusion page. Inside your fusion nodes panel, hold in shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the background tool. Select this and go to click on add. With background one selected, go to inspector and underneath color, double click on the color box underneath background. And inside the HTML box at the bottom of the color window, add the following hexadecimal code hash 11538E. We will use this particular node to add a color to the background of our radio frequency monitor effect. Click OK. With background one selected, hold in shift and press space and go to add a grid tool. Background one should automatically be connected to grid one via the yellow background arrow so that the color appears behind the grid itself. Select either the left or right view options underneath your grid one node to see a preview of your grid in the fusion window. With grid one selected under inspector and controls, reduce major line spacing to zero so that the width of all of your grid lines are the same. Reduce the horizontal and vertical line width slightly to 0.04. Do not worry if you can't see some of the grid lines on your preview screen as these will all show on the final video preview. With grid one still selected, hold in shift and press space again and go to add a merge tool. Deselect merge one and go to add a rectangle tool from the options above the node's grid. Choose either the left or right view options of rectangle one to preview. With this new node selected, return to inspector where we will apply settings to create the black measurement line that we will see in our final video. Set the width to one so that the rectangle stretches across the whole screen and reduce the height to 0.011. Deselect rectangle one Hold and shift and press space and go to add a second background tool. By default, the color applied to the background node should be black. Click on the gray box alongside rectangle one and drag to the blue effect mask arrow of background two to make a connection. Connect background two to the green foreground arrow of merge one so that the horizontal black central line appears in front of the grid. Select merge one, hold and shift and press space and go to add a second merge tool. Now to add the measurement points on the black line. Deselect merge two, hold and shift and press space again and go to add a second rectangle tool. We will use this new shape node to add big measuring points to the black line which will appear on our monitor effect video. With this new node selected and set to either left or right view, go to inspector and controls, set width to 0.005 and set the height to 0.1. In order to have multiple measuring points display on our final grid, we need to ensure that the entire shape here is displayed on our canvas. If part of the shape is displayed outside of the canvas, the duplicated measurement shapes will only partly show. To shift this shape towards the far left side of your grid, decrease center X to 0.005 and to ensure that these shapes have the same color as the horizontal central line already on your grid, deselect rectangle two, hold in shift and press space, and go to add a second background tool. Connect rectangle two to this. With background three still selected, hold in shift and press space, and go to add a duplicate tool, which we can use to replicate the shape that we have already created and spread this across our grid. Connect duplicate one to merge two, via the green foreground arrow, with merge two set to left or right view in the preview section and with duplicate one selected, return to inspector, set copies to five so that we have enough duplicated shapes to spread across our grid and to spread these shapes horizontally across your grid from the left side, increase center X to 0.7. Now to create these smaller measuring points on your grid. We will apply nine to the grid line in between each of the bigger vertical rectangles to create a style similar to a ruler. Hold in shift and press space and go to add a third rectangle tool. 
with this new tool selected and previewed. Under Inspector, set Width to 0.004 and set Height to 0.05, which will be half the height value applied to our previous rectangle shape. And apply the same coordinates as we did with the bigger rectangle shape by setting Center X to 0.005. Connect Rectangle 3 to a Background node, as we did with the previous Shape node. Select Background 4, hold Shift and press Space, and go to add a new Duplicate tool. Select Merge 2, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a third Merge tool. Connect Duplicate 2 to the green arrow above Merge 3. Click on Left or Right View Preview underneath Merge 3, and with Duplicate 2 selected, under Inspector, set Copies to 50 and set Center X to 0.52 so that nine of the smaller lines appear between each of the bigger vertical rectangles. Connect Merge 3 to the yellow arrow alongside Media Out 1 to complete your monitor screen background. Return to your Edit window, go to Open Effects and use the search box above Toolbox to find the Vignette tool. Click and drag this to your Fusion Composition Edit. Select your Fusion Composition Clip. Under Inspector, select Effects. And under the Vignette Settings, change the Size Value under Shape to 0.85 to add gentle rounded shade effects to the corners of your grid. Close the search box above your Toolbox area. Return to Effects. And go to add a second Fusion Composition tool to the video track above your original one, ensuring that both of these edits are parallel with one another. We will now create the animated wave pattern that will appear in front of your grid background. Right click on your second Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Go to add a rectangle tool to your node's grid. Ensure that this tool is selected and set to left or right view preview. Under Inspector, change width to 1 so that this rectangle stretches across the entire canvas and set height to 0.01. Disconnect rectangle 1, hold in shift and press space and go to add a glow tool. Connect rectangle 1 to the yellow input arrow alongside glow 1. With glow 1 selected, under inspector and controls, deselect the red filter underneath the filter options Increase Glow Size to 20 and increase the intensity of the glow slightly to 0.85. Deselect Glow 1, go to add a background tool, connect Glow 1 to the background node. With Background 1 selected, under Inspector, double click on the color box and type in the following hexadecimal code in the HTML box to create a light green shade, hash C6FF. F0. Click OK. Connect Background 1 to Immediate Out 1. Return to your Edits window. Return to your Open Effects options and search for a waviness filter. Apply one of these to the Fusion Composition clip containing your wave line. With this Fusion Composition clip selected, under Inspector and Effects, the value applied to waviness type should reflect the layout of the shape that we have used to create our wave line. In this particular example, we need to set this to horizontal. Increment the scale value to increase the number of waves that you see on screen. Here in this particular project, I will maintain the default value for this variable, which will be 30. Increase the value for strength to stretch the crest and troughs of each of your waves further away from the middle of your screen. Here in this project, I will set strength to 100 and the value applied to speed will determine the velocity in which the waves travel from the right side of the screen to the left. For clear illustration purposes of this animation, I will decrease the speed here to 0.1. Hold in Control or Command if you are a Mac user and select both of your Fusion Composition clips. Click and drag by the side to adjust the duration of your clips as you wish. Maintain focus on the black box which appears next to your mouse cursor, with the top number referring to the difference in the duration, and the overall duration appearing underneath this, next to your mouse cursor. Once you are satisfied with the duration, right click on the Fusion Composition clip containing your wavelength, and go to select New Compound Clip. 
click Create. We will now make an adjustment to the edits containing your wave line so that you are able to make further adjustments to the size of your waves. With this new compound clip selected, under Inspector and Video, increment the zoom X and Y values to increase the size of the waves that appear on screen. Should you wish to modify one of the two dimensions separately, disconnect X and Y in the Transform settings by clicking on the chain link symbol. Adjusting zoom X will stretch the waves horizontally and adjusting zoom Y will make changes to the vertical alignment of the waves. Avoid setting the value for Y to a number far bigger than zoom X to avoid bloating in the crests and troughs of your waves so that you can maintain a consistent line width throughout your wave pattern. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.